Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and normally I wouldn't do a video on a logo that it was this easy, and it worked perfectly, and I, the young man I did it for asked me how I did it, and it's, it's a pretty good quality logo, and I mean, it's got some, anyway, it's got some distress in it, which I can't really reduplicate, so I just made it solid. So I've got my nudge factor set on five inches because this thing's a little, or six inches. So we're going to click on our item. We're going to go to bitmap. We're going to convert it to a bitmap. We're going to convert it to a black. No, we're not. I forgot we didn't. I did not do that. So go to bitmap and resample. And it's already 600, so it's good. And it's black, so I'm not going to convert it. But I'm just going to trace it. I'm going to still use outline trace, and I'm going to still use clip art because I've always had best luck 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 with clip art so this will take just a second it's done i'm going to hit ok i'm going to nudge it over and you can see it's already good with the exception of the a it's got some garbage in it and a little bit of the s so here's what i would do and this is how i did it i'm going to go to range and i'm going to ungroup it I'm going to click on the words inside the Texas and I'm going to nudge it over. Then everything looks really good with the exception of this garbage in the beer and the A and the, the Texas. The other text traced really good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to left click, right click, and it is separated. And I just happily, so I'm going to go all caps, type out Texas, get it to the relatively size. I'm going to go with Arial Black. Sometimes it, you have to click off and go to Arial Black. It's almost a perfect, I'm almost saying it's so perfect that it has to be Arial Black. So I'm going to get it to a little bit better of the shape. I'm going to bring it in. It needs to be a little bit bigger. Some of the letters are off just a little bit. I'm going to change my nudge distance to 0 .01, 0 .001. I'm going to click on my logo or my new text, and I'm going to move it over to where it's a little more even. And the letters are a little bit off. But for this, it's good enough. The A's may be moved over a little bit, so I'm going to grab my shape tool. I'm going to click on that node, and I'm going to nudge it over a little bit. Get a little bit further out of the way, away from the A. Now, what I should have done is hold down the control button so it'll stay on that plane and not move over. Now I can nudge it back a little bit. I'm going to hold down the control button and nudge, and it'll go a little bit faster. Not, it's not moving fast enough because it's pretty big. But for the video, that's good enough. Now I'm going to nudge my Texas over. Set it back on six inches. Grab my Texas. Nudge it over and delete this. Nudge it back. Just using the left arrow key. Left click, right click. Now we need to clean up this beer. I'm going to take the shape tool. I'm going to click on them just with the shape tool. I'm just deleting these little interior parts. This is part of the distress, but it's not good enough. So I'm going to take out all the interior parts. If you have 8x or above, you can use the smooth tool. Click on that line and just smooth it out. Pretty cool. Now, if you do not have the, the shape tool, let me just, or the smoothing tool, let's back up a little bit. Just grab your shape tool, which everybody has, and delete that node. Delete that node. Maybe delete that node. Maybe delete another node alongside of it, just so you get a kind of a smoother. And you could delete some of these other nodes. And everything else looks pretty good. There's a 
two nodes that are pretty close together, double node, two nodes that are really close together. I'm not changing the shape. And I'm going to call that good. So we're going to leave it as an outline. We're going to take the state of Texas and we're going to move it over and we're going to produce. I'm going to right click. <clears throat> and Texas came out really good. Take the form and nudge it over. I'm going to right click, left click on no fill. Grab the road, move it over. No fill outline. Grab this shape. I'm going to uh, nudge it over twice. I'm going to left click, right click, nudge it back twice. Grab all that and nudge it over. Take the Smart Fill tool. I've got the Smart Fill tool set on black and no outline. Let's zoom in a little bit. Smart Fill tool. Fill this in. Fill in our letters. Fill in the interior parts of your letters. Then I would take the whole thing and right click no fill or no outline. So you won't have that red. And there you have a pretty good looking logo done in just a few minutes. And you could add that to stress, but that's a whole nother ball of wax there. Anyway, hope that helps him a little bit. Thank you for watching.